Do that again. You're so mean. Am I it's supposed to be not. some little devil? Those little bunny ears. Bunny ears. They're little devil ears. That's what they are. Little devil ears. No. Get them on either side like that. This is together like that. I'm a playboy bunny. Okay, this video today is about politics. I don't usually like to talk about politics, but the Republicans are getting on my last nerve. Hey, I will say it. For a long time, when Reagan was Republican and Senior, when he first started was uh good he was helping there directly the people that's what both those two republicans were working directly for the people senior is the one who started the whole trickle down mess i know you can blame him for all the no. trouble no as i said when he started he was still following with reagan by the time of his ending, that's when they started the trickle-down bullshit. And the only thing that is, basically, anyone that's making uh, six digits or above they are get basically, tax breaks. they're loving it. Of course they are. They're Any, millionaires and they're making more millions. Anyone that's making under six digits a year they're basically getting basically no, don't messed say up without grease. Thank you. Okay, I'll say it nicely, but they're basically doing it directly to the people. It's one thing, uh, the Republicans are, and they my, used to be really good for the people. Now that for a long time now, they've done nothing really good for the people. I apparently wasn't old enough to know when they were doing good for the people. I know Bush started the trickle down mess. Clinton tried to fix it. And it could not because Bush, of, Bush Jr. came in and, and just up. started it all back over. And everything Clinton started was messed up. Now we got Obama in there trying his best to help the middle class and the poor. And we have all these Republicans in the Senate and Congress That's, who will not help him. That is the biggest reason why Bill had a lot of problems was because of Congress and Senate. Both of them are being, con being majority of them being Republican than Democrat. Now I'm not sure. I think it's two more years before you start voting for the congressmen and the senators. Yeah. I suggest everybody vote Democrat. I'm going to. I have had it with these people who support the Republican trickle-down theory and they let the millionaires get richer while people are losing their homes. They're losing their cars. They can't eat. They can't get their medicine. Old people, they're wanting to take away Social Security from the old and disabled. They're wanting to take away Planned Parenthood from the poor women who can't afford to go to the doctor to see the gynecologist or whatever and have breast exams. I mean, what is wrong with the Republicans? Why do they hate people? Katie, this is... Oh, it's not mean, but it's basically being realistic. Majority of the people, and I'm talking more than 99% of the people around the world, they think about themselves. And they're not worried about they're not worried about their brother, let alone their mother, father, or anything else. They're worried about their own self, their own money, their own. See, stuff. that's why I like countries like China. Now they might not have the best government, but they care about everybody the else. They take care of their own families. They uh, they help other people. I mean, it's maybe it's the way we're raised. And you know, the next time I hear somebody say, I'm not voting for that N-I-G-G-E-R, I'm going to hit them. 
My brother actually called me a N-I-G-G-E-R loving B-I-T-C-H to my face. Just because I think that our president is trying to help us. Well, I knew that. And what's funny about all this, especially I hear a lot of people that are talking and being like that, they all sit there and act like they're uh, God-loving people. And then one thing, they got to remember something. All these people they don't like, the Bible, everything about the Bible is from that direction. Yeah, I keep yeah. reminding them that the people in the Bible are from the Middle East. Mm -hmm. I know that. They ain't white. I know that. The even the St. James version of the Bible is because of a king. But as far king as King James version. Yeah, well as they said, it's still the same thing. You have the Bible, everything about the Bible comes directly from Africa, Middle East. Mostly the Middle East. East. Israel, Jerusalem. All through there is Egypt, yeah, through that whole area, through that is. whole area is the Bible, and uh, yeah, I'm sorry, but they didn't even know what white people looked like back then. I know that. I, I, I just don't get people these days. I've always loved everybody, it never made no difference to me what religion, what color what job they had. But I actually heard a guy talk the other day on video and say the words, I don't mind the government helping people as long as they don't use my money to do it. <laughs> That's what his taxes are for. That's to help other people. That, as I said, if he doesn't like it, then he should not basically worried about ever getting Social Security. Yeah. Oh, I hope he never has to get Social Security because I'm then he would... I'm talking straight up Social Security out of old age. He would be going against everything he believes in. My son is not the only one who stocked up. My son went and bought tons of water, tons of canned food, and stocked up for the day that the earth collides with what I don't know. They've got gas masks, they've got those outfits that you wear. And I didn't know any of this because he won't have nothing to do with me. But my aunt was telling me all the stuff that he had hoarded and that's what it is. It's hoarding. Yes, I know. It's selfish. They should it's be taking stupid. some of this money they've got so much of and helping the poor. Give some of that food to the food pantry so that people can eat now. But now they've moved over to Nevada in a desert so that they won't be bombed. Uh, then that's straight out stupid. If we are going to get bombed by any other country, Nevada is one of the main hits because of the Air Force bases, uh, the middle, just basically the middle ba uh, military bases uh, in Nevada. And they're going to kill all the prostitutes first. <laughs> Sorry, that is the oldest job on the world. Hey, it's the only, as far as I know, it's the only state that allows prostitution. That's just on this country. Well, yeah, I'm sure. Not around the world. No, I'm sure. I'm sure that's true. I, I don't know very much about other countries. I do know that some of them get along real good, and others are bombing their next door neighbors. So I think we're living in a pretty good society. I think mm -hmm. that even though we have fewer jobs and less money, that it should bring people closer together. They should learn how to survive on less money. You've got people like the Kardashians who go out and spend 
$75,000 on clothes in one day. Selfish, greedy people who should be donating some of their money to help the less fortunate. Instead, they're worried about what clothes they're wearing. And remember about a lot of those talking actresses, actors, uh, models, and all that they stuff. They should be ashamed of themselves. Sorry. Their styles and what they're going to do changes like the direction of the That's wind. why they have to spend $75,000 on clothes. Jeez. Because what they bought last week is out of style now. No, not even last week. It can be changed before they even get it outside into their car. With the style of clothes... And you want to know stuff goes how like selfish that. these people are? The mom was mad because her daughters was raiding her closet. She put a lock on the door. And now she makes them sign out each piece of clothing and take a picture of themselves with the clothing and then sign the clothing back in when they bring it back. I have no words for that. Baby, you're sitting here talking. That's selfish. You can't get no more selfish than that. And that's where Kimmy gets it. She's just like her mother. Katie, from the few times that I've watched the Kardashians, every girl nope. in the things, not just all every girl. Nope. Chloe is the most down-to-earth one of them. Sorry. Now she buys still, her fancy clothes, but she doesn't have as much as Kim does and her mom does sorry. and all that. But they still all of those girls say the same thing. They are worried about themselves more than they're worried about Kim couldn't else. even stay married. She was so selfish. She wouldn't let her husband touch anything. She wouldn't let her husband lay his shirt down on the table. I mean, Chloe's not like that. She treats her husband like he is God on earth. I mean, you can tell she really loves her husband. Now, that's not selfish. That's more down to earth. Okay. So you're the one who watches it. Yeah, I watch it. I, just, I don't. But I'm just going by the few I, It's times like watching a train wreck. You just have to see who survives and who doesn't. Oh, you're having fun with that. And it's just me. I get so mad at them, I yell at them. <laughs> I'm yelling at the TV. You don't need that much clothing. It's just straight out to me. Stupid. It's stupid. I know it's stupid. I know it's stupid. But like I said, you know how you're going down the street and all of a sudden the traffic has completely stopped? And you're wondering, oh my God, what's happened? Somebody's had a wreck and everybody has to go two miles an hour to see if anybody's dead. Yeah. They want to see mangled bodies. That's why I watch the Kardashians <laughs> to see what stupid thing they're going to do next. Because they're, most of them are stupid. Most of them are thoughtless, uncaring, selfish people. And they threw off on Bruce because he has an attitude. Of course he has an attitude. Look at what he has to live with. I feel so sorry for Bruce. Why he hasn't left her by now, I don't know. She's wanted to cheat on him. She doesn't let him have anything. That's me. <laughs> I just can't imagine it. We share everything. Said I learned at a young age, the people that get more money are more self-confident. Or not self-confident. They worry about themselves. Everything has to revolve around them. I learned at a young age, especially working, not working. Going to school with a bunch of uh, Congress and Senators kids. I went to Clinton and they had a lot of those rich kids over there. I flunked out of that school. I hated that school. Yeah. Everybody thought they were better than me. They all thought their clothes were so much better. We, you'd see, you'd go into the bathroom and there would be girls in there with curling irons. Mm-hmm. At 8 o'clock in the morning. 
I know. 13 year olds. <laughs> it's sad. And now you see them all with phones. Eight year olds. Ten year olds with phones. Katie, the parents learn at a quick and early age. When this kid's to shut this little brat's mouth up, here, green, enjoy yourself. Bribe the little brats, and that's the only way to get it. But then we just sit there and watched it a few uh, <laughs> a few hours ago. When I was just watched, thinking of that little girl. When you watch a child that's not even eight years old. Eight? She wasn't even five. Telling her mother, no, you're wrong. I want this, this, or that. Yeah, get me this. And she and fits. And if you would not, that's that. Her <laughs> mom said no, and she looked at her and said, don't tell me no. The so, girl was like five. Katie, it started in the 80s. Parents got too scared to discipline. Not physically. I'm talking uh, mentally, just verbally. No. My son was too, too scared of me to tell me no. Sorry. Too scared. Yes, I spanked his little butt. Yeah, but remember, what's mean about it is he know who he could who body mount. Yeah, he'd ha he'd go to ma grandma and grandpa and he got whatever he wanted. He got bought out a young. But age. that's what grandmas and grandpas are for. Mm. That's what they believe they're for. That's like the lady at the cash register. She's like, oh, my granddaughter don't tell me no. no. <laughs> but she gives her granddaughter everything she wants. So, of course she's not going to tell her no. But, back to the Republicans. We got way off track of yes, what we, we were did. saying. I looked, I never really paid attention, never really cared what a conservative was what a liberal was, what a Republican was, or what a Democrat was. Didn't care. Mm -hmm. It never mattered to me till this year. And I actually looked it up and decided, oh my God, I'm a liberal. I never knew the definition of a liberal. I've been a liberal all my life. And every time I hear somebody putting down the thin-skinned liberals, the tree huggers, the people who want everybody to be helped and loved, I just want to pinch their heads off. But I'm too nice, just like that lady with the little girl tonight. I'm just too nice. I should have looked at her and said, Lady, if that's my child, I would be spanking her little butt, and she wouldn't be talking that way to me. But I didn't. I just sat back and shook my head. You're not going to change it. Never could. Never will. No, it just would have made the lady mad. Maybe she would have said something. Yeah. And she would have still went on and let her daughter get away with murder. So, but how do you convince a conservative that it's not all about them? That this world is made up of people and we're here on earth to help each other, to love each other, to take care of each other. Well, there's one thing I've learned at a young age. A lot of people don't understand that one thing. The planet is here. We're like little roaches. We're destroying this planet. It ain't never going to change. We've never really done anything good for this planet. Never going to. Even the ones who try. If everybody Sorry. doesn't do it, it's not going to work. work. Yeah. So. That's the whole point is. It's never going to... We're never going to do anything good, actually, for the planet. One person might do this as recycling and all things. That's nice. But... Sorry. The only people out of this out of this whole on this planet if you actually look at how how this planet is what's done on this planet 
if you were true, like either a true an Alaskan, uh, uh, an American Indian, or uh, Aztec, Incas, Mayas, something like that, or some of the places in Africa, uh, in Asia, and things like that, where they basically they lived on the planet and off the planet. They do not basically do all this stuff that we what we've because of the creation of nuclear power, electrical power, and a lot of other things. And now you mentioned Alaska, and my mind, so small-minded as I am, went to the fact that they're living in little igloos, eating well blubber, and they don't need to have all this gas and fumes and waste. and, and uh, right. They drill holes inside the, in the ice to go fishing on the right like they 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 take care they use what's on the land just like the indians used to so it is aztecs the incas and the mayas and a now lot of i those. don't know if that's how they live I i've liked, never I been to history. alaska i liked history I and assume, i do like nature i assume that's how they live because that's what they tell me on tv yeah but their houses and stuff in alaska have you seen that movie, uh, that TV show, Northern Exposure? They had houses and stuff. Yeah, but that's what I said. That's also got uh, electricity and a right. lot of things. Right. So, see, that's, not all of Alaska sorry. is... No, as I said, when I'm talking about this, I'm talking... Conserving the, energy. No, I'm talking the true the Alaskan. The true Alaskans. Yes. The Indians, the Eskimos. Yes, that's the whole thing. I'm talking about they're the people that live off nature. Not destroying things and doing all things. I used to wish I was an Indian, able to hunt down an elk and use every single part of it, mm -hmm. and not waste anything. Sorry. All you needed was some stones and some sticks to make your tools Sorry. with, and you could just. I know that, but I will say it. Uh, my family. Uh, was straight out hillbillies. The well, meat. So the is meat. mine. Sorry, the meat is the meat. Yeah, but you're going to have the fur and all the things. Gee, you're going to have a little dummy uh thing stuck on the wall. Uh, the antlers are not going to be useful. They're just going to be to show off what you've done. I am so against stuffing animals and hanging them on your walls. Hey. Oh my goodness, the hey, poor just, animals. So I said, that's what they get. I'm against mm -hmm. hunting if you're not using the food to eat. If you're just out hunting for sport. Sorry, then one thing. You Even should be put in she jail. Loves, she loves meat, but I hate, she could never go to uh, uh, where they've got a... Um, I couldn't do it myself. Uh, no. Butchery or where they've got where you see the cows that go down the line and you'll see this like a pow and it's a big uh air compressed needle going through the brain it'll walk a few feet and it'll fall up down then they strip it down when they do the, all the cow the cows like that and what they do with the pigs and the leftovers you know what they do on most cases it's slaughtering just laying on the ground in there most of the stuff like that no Gee. everything that's left over they pick it up they throw it in bins and they can use it for different things most of the times, when you like uh, wiener hot dogs or bologna, there you go. <laughs> That's the intestines and brains and stuff. That's but I'm talking like skin and uh, just things that you wouldn't think of hooves, whatever is left over. They yeah. put it in dog food and cat food. That's their meat that they put in the animals' foods. <laughs> Okay. They pay for it. And you know, when you're eating like Vienna sausage, you are, you're eating intestines and snouts and God you know only that. knows what. Let me tell you something. In most cases, even when you're just eating straight out hamburger, yeah, it's a lot of straight out waste. Just fat and... I know. It is funny, but that's that's nature. That's with nature. So called. Uh, 
This Our cat's been aggravating just, me for a either, while. Either wants He's out. He's either hungry or wants so, out. One or the other. Give me a second. We'll be right back. Uh, this video's got to be at least 10, 15 minutes long by now. Uh, I wonder out. if anybody's still watching. Doubt it. I don't know if I'd watch a video this long or not unless I was really interested in what the people were saying. Are we interesting? Yes, we are. <laughs> and we're just doing exactly what the what the internet's for. It's That's so right. we can open our mouths talking about what we want, when we want. It's a free country. Hmm? Jeez, on the For internet, now. It's, on, on the internet, it's uh, most cases it's around the world. You can't just say free speech well, for that's America. True. It's not just Americans, and I have people, I have friends who are from different countries, yeah. and they'll be watching this. And I, the one lady from Germany I was telling you about, yeah. and uh, yeah. it might be interesting to her to hear our views on Republicans and Democrats. I mean. I'm not sure. I think Germany has their own leader. Yes, they've so had it for a while. I don't believe they voted him in. <laughs> and there are other countries like that. So uh, it might be interesting to them to hear the difference between Republicans and Democrats. Yeah. It was funny to all the people in, in especially America, when how China is a lot of points would say it's mean and everything but one thing you had some really strong leaders that is there directly they got a large military and all this stuff but they still made everything where everyone gets health uh health well that's the way it things. is over in canada and in england yeah and that's what they don't want here yeah that's straight out stupid. I've I've known that for a while. Now. If you can get free health care with so many obese and sick people here in America, why would you turn it down? I will never turn down free health care. I'd be dead without my health care. I already know that, Katie. But you're sitting there talking about a country that will not, I will say it, the congressmen or senators, the money they make, it's not from a person. They got the rich people, especially the large corporations and things, they're telling Congress and Senate, I want this or I want that. Because they're donating money to them. That's Just right. Just giving them money to do what they want them to do. They've been bought out. I know that. Us poor people, we can't do that. Sorry. It's true. Commun communism. That's what Russia used to be. I know. I used to say, oh, I'd love to be a communist. Now, I don't know everything about communism, but I do believe the government should help take care of their well, citizens. that's the point is, when communism was there, when they still had uh, Stalin, uh, you're talking of the, prob the 50s, uh, early 60s or earlier, uh, that's when you had the muscle where... You will do this, you will do that, and you will do it now. They did it. That includes, but they had, they got a lot of benefits directly to the people, and it kept them running. Just a lot of people, uh, especially with free speech and all this other stuff with the United States, everyone wants their own opinion. They want to be able to say, what they want, when they want it, and what it's about. And right. that's what a lot of things about... And that's the de why we can't have communism it's here. It's because we have so many rights. Yeah, I know. But the, uh, what I, the difference about uh, Republicans and Democrats... Uh, the Republicans believe that everybody should work. Everybody should take care of their themselves and their families but what if you can't work well they don't care about that you should work anyway as I said 
the way it's supposed to be, the way, easiest way to put it is, Republicans is for the companies. The Democrats is for the people. If the Republicans really want everyone to work, make more jobs. I had a guy say to me today that uh, we needed to give tax breaks to the billionaires so that they could keep their companies going. Now, if they're billionaires, I don't understand why they would need tax breaks. Um, I think they should pay more than their fair share of taxes, seeing they haven't they've been having breaks for so long. Well, one thing. This is, I am far from being on their side of things, but I do know it's with realism right here. The rich people is going to be straight out closest thing as a, sting, as a stingy person. They want to save money any way they can money. They can make it, but they don't want to give it or spread any of their money out. They're hoarders. They want to keep them there. They'll pocket. keep their billions in their bank accounts. Well, most of the time they'll put it in the, uh, over in Swiss uh, banks so they can't be robbed or taken away from like. But I don't understand. Hide. There are poor and middle class Republicans. Explain this to me. They do it because of all kinds. There's all kinds of different reasons why this person's saying I'm a Republican. This person, I'm a Democratic. They don't believe in abortion, so they're Republicans? No. I mean, are there people out there so stupid that they say, well, let's forget everybody else just because I d I'm against abortions. I'm a Republican. I'll be a Republican because I don't like abortions. Well, what about all the other issues that the Republicans are following? Like not That's wanting a, to help the middle class, not wanting to give them tax breaks, not wanting to them to help them open new companies. My thought is help the low class, lower class companies, the small businesses. Help them in every way you can. They should be getting the government help. They should be getting the tax breaks. They should be getting grants. So they can hire more people, and they should be getting grants to help their employees go to college, so they can become better people. There's a lot of them can get that real quick and easy, but it's once they start on this road, you can't take a left or right. Once you start, you got to keep it going. Move it up. And if they don't, it's going to not going to go anywhere in their pockets or in their things but that's a lot of people are like that you start on something for some reason a lot of people quit I don't know why they quit I just they give up uh, maybe they find it too hard yeah which, every person, which is understandable everyone has their own their own their reasons. own reasons why they do what they do yeah but pointing a finger, this is the the right thing, and th th that's the wrong. I'm thing. a bad person to say this is right and this is wrong. Giving the rich people tax breaks is wrong. Not helping the low income businesses, the small businesses, is wrong. Telling people that you can't have welfare or you can't have social security especially social security because you paid for it it's wrong to tell them they can't have it to tell them you're going to take it away from them after they paid all those years into it it's wrong and uh, welfare is basically now helping mothers single mothers they're helping uh, these children make sure they get health care. They're helping men and women who are sick and do not qualify for Social Security like me. And they're helping men who can't find jobs. 
But those people who can't find jobs and are on welfare, they have to either work or go to school in order to get their welfare. Now we're talking about people who have to work 20 or more hours a week in order to get $200 and $100 in food stamps. But that's the only job they can get. Because they don't have skills, they don't have training, they don't have schooling, whatever it is they don't have. Welfare is helping them get these skills, get the training, so that they can go out and get their own good jobs. And yet the Republicans want to take that away. I don't get it. Somebody please tell me. It's going to be hard to trade off to straight up understand the reasons why. It's going to be almost impossible. Well, that's why I wanted to make this video. I wanted to ask the people out there on YouTube, if they're still listening, to tell me why do you vote the way you do? Um, if you're a Republican or if you're a Democrat or if you're an Independent. And or why? Liberal. Yeah, why? Conservative, liberal, um, what makes you who you are? I guess I'm a liberal and I'm a Democrat because I've been poor all my life. I've had to use the system. My husband's on the system. He's getting Social Security. I'm getting welfare. I'm not ashamed to say it. I don't have enough hours to get Social Security. I'm eligible for it. I just don't have enough hours for it. So, um, we get so, so little food stamps it doesn't even help buy food for the month, but it helps. I, I mean, I don't know what we'd do without it. Um, I just believe that people should be took care of. They should be helped. We have so many homeless people out there, and I think that's a tragedy. Um, we, people need the government help. And I'm so tired of hearing people say that they shouldn't get it. And I think that's sad because people have lost love for other people. Where's the Christianity? If you love God, you have to love people. And if you love people, you want to take care of them and help them. And why would you want to take away their only help? I don't get it. But that's our discussion for today. Hope you guys have seen it, listened to it, and watched it. If you've watched even part of it, please reply. Give us your opinions. We really want to know. Um, Maybe next time we come on, we'll sing something. Yeah. Yeah, it's been fun. Hope you guys listened to it and watched it. You guys have some fun. Take care, you guys. We love you. Mm. Bye.